Hi everybody. Um, I'm back again. It is Monday. And, um, so I had shared with you, um, in my, uh, happy mail video that Anna sent me that, um, Sunday was my birthday. Yay. <laughs> so, um, a couple of my friends sent me some happy mail for my happy birthday and, um, and I received it on Saturday, which was great. Um, but I knew Sunday was going to be crazy. So, um, so anyway, I'm here to share with you um, another package that my friend Natalie sent me. Hi, Natalie. How are you? So Natalie is um, the awesome, fabulous, put some bling on it on YouTube. And um, she makes really the most beautiful things, as do um, all of you uh, crafty chicas out there. Um, so she said that she wanted to send me something for my birthday, and I told her that she had already sent me, you know, just a sweet rack. And she said, no way, it's your birthday, I'm sending you something. So I said, how about just the card? And um, <laughs> I knew her little mischievous ways, just the card, but just the card and a couple of other goodies. So thank you so much, Natalie. Um, I wanted to share with you this super sweet um, card that she made out of the scallop circle and it's an easel card so she used the beautiful tilde papers and a magnolia stamp and i love the way that you do the um the lace and the little bling centers i love that you can see that and these are this really sweet halfback pearl she put there and the halfback pearl strand that she put to have the card stand. And um, Natalie, your coloring is beautiful. And she put a little sparkle in her bow. The butterfly also with the um, bling. And look at all that sparkle. Oh my gosh, I love it. She really does just make the most beautiful cards and the funny thing is I never bought a tilde I mean a tilde a magnolia image only because I just thought I don't know that's just above and beyond my talent to have to like layer and match and color those beautiful images but um <laughs> but she did look send me my first magnolia my first magnolia stamp and this one is, she's so cute holding the, um, the flower. Here's the image. And it is Tilda with Magnolia Branch. So very, very sweet. So thank you so much, Natalie. Um, I promise I will do my best coloring and really, I find these more intimidating than the um, few greeting farms that I have and a couple of the gorgeous girls that I have. I don't know why I find the magnolia so intimidating, but, um, but anyway, I'm so excited. And she had sent them in this really cute bag. I'm sure you got these at Daiso. That was my card she wrote first. <laughs> but um, anyway, so then she sent me these gorgeous, gorgeous, flowers which don't get me wrong I have tons of flowers like obscenely tons of flowers but I don't have anything quite like these these are gorgeous and come to find out you got these at the prima sale didn't you um they're rosebuds but they're I don't know they're open in just the perfect way and I don't I'm always in search of these green color for like little filler like pastel lime green and this is just the prettiest shade and I have gorgeous ones um cherry blossoms and stuff like that from wild orchid crafts and but this shade is just the perfect shade that I'm always looking for and I can never find so thank you so so much Natalie for these I love them love them. I love that I can color these or keep them white and I love that you somehow like read my mind on these flowers. So I love those and yes I promise I am going to use everything I'm about to show you but um <laughs> she made this awesomely cool like 
it's like a handmade fry box. I don't know how to put it. I mean, look at the bottom, how cute that is. And of course she used the tilde paper. Um, it's, look at how she used the Stampin' Up! punch here with the eyelets. And she had tied this in a pretty bow. It is the coolest. You have to show us how to do this. I have to find out. Because it's square on the bottom and then, you know, it's, it's like a fry box. And then look at this beautiful flower. Did you make this? So, so pretty with the stick pin and the sparkle and... Oh my gosh, this is so cute, this button. Look at that little resin piece, that pearl button tucked in there. So cute. And then she filled it with some goodies. She filled it with these beautiful, beautiful bling pieces. Look at how gorgeous and sparkly those are. Oh my gosh, Natalie, thank you so, so much. Let me just put those in carefully. And then she sent me this beautiful, beautiful, um, oh, I know, these are, um, these are the heart appliques from Artie. Gorgeous. I love, this is my favorite. When I saw this, I was like, how am I going to use this? So pretty. And then this gorgeous applique. Look at how pretty that is. So I want to thank you so much, so, so much for sending me these. Really, Natalie, you didn't have to, but I'm so excited that you did. Thank you so much for thinking about me. Thank you to all um, of you lovely friends that um, sent me birthday wishes on Facebook. I just, there were so many, and I read each and every one, and I thank all of you. Um, it was very overwhelming for me. Look at how cute this, this little basket is. Is that not the cutest thing? So thank you all for your messages. I read them all. I love you guys um, for thinking of me and wishing me happy birthday. And I hope you all have a fabulous week. And... Um, and uh, get crafty and enjoy what you do. Um, enjoy it, enjoy your families, enjoy your work, and enjoy watching. Bye.